Welcome to Tim's Lico Challenge. This problem is called Last Stone Weight. You are given an array of integer stones where stones i is the weight of the ith stone. So you're playing a game with the stones. On each turn, you choose the heaviest two stones and smash them together. Now suppose the heaviest two stones have weights x and y with x less or equal to y. Now the result of this smash is if they're equal to one another, both stones are destroyed. But if they're not equal to one another, then the heavier stone will destroy the weight of the smaller stone. And whatever remains is going to be the stone, uh, another stone that gets added back into our array. So it has a new weight of either y minus x or x minus y. At the end of the game, there'll be one stone left. What is um, the smallest possible weight of the left stone? So. I don't know why they worded it that way. There's always going to be one stone left. So it's not like what's the smallest possible. It's just what's going to be the last stone here. Okay, so if we had this array here, we could certainly just code this out the way it's worded. We can take the, uh, we can sort it and then take the top two, try to um, figure out do we create a new stone or not, and then add that back into our array, resort it, and just continue that on and on, right? Uh, but that's um, going to be what it ends up becoming n squared, I believe, because we're going to have to be sorting it each time and going through the n. Certainly, there's got to be a better, some sort of better algorithm, right? And the data structure that should pop out in your mind right now immediately is a heap. We already know we're going to pop off the top two heaviest, right? So what would be best for that? What about a max heap, right? All right, so if we can do that, then the algorithm becomes pretty easy. We can just heapify this array pop off the two heaviest ones, add back, keep push it back into the array, and just continue on until we have one stone left. And that should be it. So let's take our stones and let's heapify it. Uh, let's see, should be heapify stones. And we will say while length of stones is greater than one. Oh, well, one thing, I actually, I forgot. In, Python, these heaps are going to be min heaps. So we want to make this to a max heap. So we're actually going to have to reformulate these stones into, let's say, negative s for s in stones. And now it's going to be all negative, And these will be sorted in the max heap, right? OK, so while stones is greater, uh, let's see. We'll have two stones, right? The first stone. Let's first heap what pop from our stones. And we're going to actually have to make this back into a positive, as well as the second second stone. Make it heap pop stones. Multiply that negative. Oops. And we're going to calculate what's left over. Okay, left over is going to just be the absolute value of first minus second, right? And now we just take over this, wherever this stone is. Maybe there's nothing left, or maybe there's uh, something left. But it doesn't really matter. We can just add that back into our heap. We'll say heap push back into stones, our item, which is left over. And you might think, well, what if it's a zero? Well, yeah, I mean, you can certainly put a if statement, say, like, if it's zero, don't add it. But, you know, it's, you don't really have to, because if you think about it, if it's zero and we have one stone left, it's almost like there is no stone, right? So it'll just disappear and add it back in. A little bit inefficient, but I think it's easier to read. Finally, let's just return whatever at the very end, there should be one stone left, right? So it was uh, return whatever's left, but let's make that a negative. Okay, so that's going to make it back to a positive here. So let's make sure this works. Ah, it does not. Mm, let's see. Oh, of course, I need to, when I push this back, it's got to be negative again, right? So let's do that. Okay, so that looks like it's working. Let's go ahead and submit it. And there we go. So this is going to be a n log n solution. That's it. I think the main, it's supposed to be easy. I don't think it's that easy, but I think the main sort of takeaway from this is you see this problem, you should immediately think heap. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.